Hello and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. The learning objectives we're going to cover are straightening an image, using the ruler tool, using content aware fill and making a selection. So as you can see in front of me I have an image of Stonehenge which is the ideal image for me to use because it is not straight in the slightest. The first thing I want to do is add a guide to the image. This will make a good reference as to how much straighter the image needs to be made. So to do this we want to go up to the menu running across the top of the Photoshop UI and then click on the view menu. Upon clicking on the view menu you will see several items regarding different types of options available for how you view images and other graphical representations on the Photoshop UI. Now what we're most interested in here is the rulers option. So let's go ahead and select the rulers. After clicking the rulers option you should have noticed that the Photoshop UI has been updated to include measurement indicators to the left and to the top of the main image window. We are now able to create a guide. To do this all we need to do is move our cursor to the top of the main image window and place the cursor in the measurement area. Then if we hold down the left mouse button and drag downwards a guide will appear and we can move this onto the image. Right, okay, once we got that sorted out, next we need to select the ruler tool. Not to be confused with the ruler from the views menu, but rather from the toolbar on the left of the main image window. The ruler tool can be found in a set of tools hidden underneath the eyedropper tool. Now in order to select it, you will need to go up to where the eyedropper icon is on the toolbar and then left click and hold the mouse button down. This will bring up the various tools in this grouping and from here you will see the ruler tool. Now select the ruler tool and then once you have it selected, when you run your cursor over the image you will see a small icon of a ruler. Okay, so with the ruler tool selected, you can either work from right to left or from left to right. Start from the outside of the image, you don't need to be within the image boundaries. So start from outside the image, click and hold down the left mouse button and drag across the image following the diagonal horizon line. Once you get to the other side, you can move the line into position and then once you're happy, you can let go of the mouse button and that will give you a nice diagonal line which follows your horizon across the image. With the ruler tool selected, look up to the top of the Photoshop UI. You will see the tool options bar, which has a button on it called straighten layer. Now we need to click this straighten layer button. And when you do so, you will see that your image has indeed been straightened. The problem is in order to straighten the layer, the layer had to be rotated. Now this means we have ended up with four corners of the image showing as transparency and the canvas underneath. Now in order to fix this, we will need to first control click on the active layer. This will make a selection of the image only, not the canvas transparency. Next, we don't want to actually have the image itself selected. What we want is the areas of transparency. So what we will do next is go up to select on the menu bar and choose the inverse option. This will invert the selection so only selecting the corners of the canvas that are transparent. Now, if we were to do a content aware fill from this point, we will end up with a one pixel line where the selection was inverted, as you can see me demonstrate here. So I'm going to undo all that. And what we can do in order to get around this problem is we can go up to the select menu option and we can choose the modify expand option. In the expand by field, type in the amount of 10 pixels, then ensure that the checkbox apply effect at canvas bounds is checked, then click OK. This will expand our selection so it will cover an extra 10 pixels on all sides. This will ensure all the areas we required are covered. Now if we go into the edit menu and select fill, we will bring up the fill dialog box. In the fill dialog box, Ensure that contents type is content aware and click OK. After a short while, you will see that your selections have been filled in with sampled areas from around the image that will likely blend in nicely. If it hasn't done a good job of filling in these areas, 
then you can always run the content aware field one more time or as many times as you need in order to get it right. Okay, so we've reached the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it has helped you out. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.